Why have you even told him that? Next time you are renting out your house, that please don't give young girls house again. I feel like it's so unfair to unmarried ladies. It's so, 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 so unfair. So we don't have the right to rent a house on our own and live our lives. Hey people, what's popping? Kilo Shelley, again in name Let's go there. Okay, wonderful people, beautiful people. It's your favorite Achalugu, Dera Gzel, on the microphone. If you are new here, hi, I'm Dera. You are welcome to my channel. <laughs> so, guys, <laughs> hey, let me just be laughing. Hmm. So, I like we need to talk about the housing issue in Lagos. Like, it is something else. Like, you can see a house you like in Lagos that is within your budget. To even see that house is hard. Then when you find the house, the owners of the house will not have issues with the fact that you are not married, you are a young girl and you are not married. And automatically, most of them profile you. Yeah, they will just profile you, they will feel like you are not responsible, why are you coming to get the house? Especially when the house you are trying to get is not a self-contained apartment. Maybe you want to get a flat. They start wondering why do girls want to get a flat and then there's this reaction we get anytime we want to like um like get a house when you even go and meet the agents face to face because i mentioned in one of my videos that you will be talking to another agent online when you want to go for inspection it's another person you are going to be seeing and that's why their agency fee is outrageous because there are like four people down the chain that want to take your money and even if it's only one person that one person will still want to take the high money so Different locations so I've gone physically when I'm dating, they might be like, is it you that is looking for the house? Is um is it your mom or your senior sister? Like they'll be confused. <laughs> hey, I'm not supposed to be laughing because this thing is not funny. It's actually not funny. They'll be confused, they'll be like, is it you that is looking for the house? You might be like, yes, it's me. Me and my friend, there's one other person. They'll not be like, hmm, okay, let's go. So when the landlord first saw us, he was like, David wants uh, want to take us. We're like, yes. Hmm. He now started telling us stories of young girls, that there were three young girls that came to live in his house, that same compound, blah, 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 that one of them, that they came for NYSC and they told him that they were coppers and they were looking for where to stay and he gave them the house because they were youth coppers. But this is seven years after they have finished serving and they refused to move out of his house. Take notes. It's not they're not paying cash rent. I don't know what the agreement with him was, Sha, but I feel like I don't think they would have told you that they would stay there for only the service years. Yes, they were coppers looking for a house, but they are free to stay in an apartment as long as they keep on renewing their rent, except there's something else stated otherwise in the agency and in I mean in the agreement. But if nothing is stated otherwise, then I don't know why you are telling us that they have been there for seven years, that the main person that filled the form, because if you are renting a house, is one person that will fill the form. The three of us, like now me and my friends, when we eventually get the house, is one person that will fill the form. The three of us cannot fill the form. One person has to stand in, have the, um, her own guarantor, um, filling her place of work and all of that. So what you're trying to say is that the main person that filled in her name has finished serving, but it was three of them that went to the house. They now started telling us how they will go out, um, come back around 11 in the night, sometimes they will come back around 10, sometimes they will come back very early in the morning, sometimes the, I, I think he talked about their dressing or something, I can't remember per se, but I know that he was complaining about their um, lifestyle, how he's, he's in good terms with them, or he's in good terms with them, that they buy stuff for him, they come to gift him and all that, but he's just tired of their lifestyle and all that, that he even complains to the wife, so it was from our discussion with him that we realized that, oh, the wife was even living I mean, the wife is living in the compound with him. That's landlord and landlady at the same time inside one compound. So he was not like that. The wife even told him that next time you are renting out your house, that please don't give young girls house again. That young girls always give headache. Blah 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 blah. Now, first of all, I feel like it's so unfair to unmarried ladies. It's so 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 unfair. So we don't have the right to rent a house on our own and live our lives. I don't get because sometimes there are some young men that are living in some of these apartments and they have the same lifestyle. In fact, they have worse. Today, Chine is in their room. Tomorrow is Adiola. Next tomorrow is Onome. Different, different babes. And most times, many of all these people do not care. 
but they draw the line when it's a young girl even if it's only one particular guy that comes to your house like even if it's only one face they see every time once they just see a young guy coming to your house they're already raising their nose they're already raising their eyes they don't know whether it's your brother they don't know whether it's your relative and even if it's your boyfriend though you paid your house rent as long as they're not turning the house into a motel or something i don't know if you get even some family people will be living in the house and come back late in the night but people um landlords and caretakers and all that they don't mind as long as it's not young girls they have been like i've heard so many stories my friend disney was telling me of one of her friends that found a house she really likes and she was about paying for the house rent but the landlord refused that he doesn't want to give it to a young lady so at some point the girl now had to call one of her male friends and like wear a fake ring so anytime she's going to house hunt she will go with her friend and they will pose as a young couple that just got married and that was how she was able to get a house if not she would have not gotten a house so like you see how stressed it is to even see one house you like then you now find a house that you like then you now start telling you all this men men so that day when the landlord was saying that thing i was like excuse me sir that is it that we are not allowed to bring in male friends because i want to understand i be we are not allowed to bring in any male because if that's the rule me i can't do it's not like i'm a type of person that will be bringing in different different men into my house but i can have friends coming over to come and visit i can have relatives coming over to come and visit i can be in a relationship and the person i'm dating will come to my house and come and visit me so i don't want any situation that i'll bring somebody into my house and they will not start looking at me normally where i stay currently like maybe it's only one or two male friends that i've visited i don't really like being in people's space and i don't like people being in my space but like i don't want a situation whereby i would have a visitor and to be a problem for the owner of the house like so many things then apart from this young girl's home another thing in lagos is that you can find a house the house will be suitable for you but your tribe will be the problem and now when i say tribe it's not only Igbo people that suffer from this thing People, like all tribes suffer from this thing i have a friend that is yoruba and my friend likes the apartment wanted to pay for the apartment immediately all of a sudden just got a message hello what's up um we are trying to confirm from the landlord whether you accept you because since the landlord started renting his house out he has never rented the house out to a yoruba person but, and that was it. there was no feedback again sometimes they will say hmm i don't want an Igbo person. There was even one I saw on Twitter. A very fine house. I think two bedroom apartment in Surulere. And they were like Edo clients only. That's if you're not from Edo State, you cannot rent the house. And this thing is only in Lagos. Like this thing they must me. Now only for Lagos I they see this thing. No, I don't see it in other places. Now why we came to make this video now is that hmm, so we saw a house we liked this afternoon, maybe this morning, and we like we literally like it's not as if the house is perfect but it's the only same place we have seen since we have been house hunting and for our budget it fits into everything concerning our budget and like everything every all this specification and everything it fits into it but it's not perfect but it's very very okay at least it's the same place as far as lagos is concerned now the only issue is that we are begging the agents like we see the way we we ran to go and pick up phone from the agents where he was to come back give it to the main agents in charge of the house and we are now begging the agent that please help us talk to the lawyer help us talk to the owners that please they should give the house to us that please because so many people are trying to get this particular house but the only thing that is giving us hope is that it's two apartments that are free in the um in the building is a building of three flats there's a three bedroom flat and there's a two bedroom flat so it's the three bedroom that i've indicated interesting and is it two bedroom that so many persons want to get because trust me the price is at least saved a bit so it's the two bedroom that so many people are after so that's why i even pray that god please let's not be that there's another person that is interested in this three bedroom and maybe the person is not a family person because if the person is a family person they are going to lose the apartments we are like is that crazy so like i've called the agent how many times <laughs> and i'm still like trying to reach out to the agent to know how far like should we come and pay should we come and take the house so i'm going to give you guys updates in the next video if the um, if the house stuff is successful like if it goes through i'm going to let you guys know i just pray it goes through because 
I am genuinely tired. Like, I just want to get done with this thing. Get, because there's still a lot to do. Like, there's a whole lot. There's painting, there's logistics. Like, there's a whole lot. So, let's get this one. But let's know that we have house. We will not know how to start moving our things, how to discuss painting, all the... Everything is going to take. Anyways, thank you guys so much for following me on this journey. Thank you for watching consistently. Thank you for watching this video. Please engage, engage, engage. So that this video will keep on moving out. And hopefully, 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 I am going to be seeing you guys in my next video. For now, bye. Kiss, kiss. Love you.